good morning ladies and happy Saturday. Saturday, October 24th or 25th? 25th. October 24th, 2015. The birthday festivities are supposed to start today, which I'm excited about. We're the bus at Port Authority and we're heading into this store called Strawberry, which I haven't been into in a very long time because I forgot to get something to go over my dresses because all the dresses I got don't really have sleeves. I'm quite sure I'm gonna go with this and it's just a little, little something to go over my dresses and you can see through it so it's not terribly thick or anything but it'll do its job <laughs> going down Times Square and they have a new wax museum of the Pope very interesting these are a really good job so I am on the train Apparently, we're heading to my mother's house, which would be a surprise. And so I called her and I want to know if maybe you believe this story because they are trying to make it this insanely ridiculous story, right? Babe? It's tragic. It's so sad. Yeah, okay. So I called my mother and I'm like, so we're going to your house, but I thought that you were supposed to be going to my grandmother's house, so this is kind of interesting. She's like, well, why would you be bringing you to my house? What do you mean? How are you bringing me to your house? You're supposed to know that. And she's like, well, I don't know why he's bringing you to my house because my back is out. So I'm like, your back is out? Uh, how, for tell, did your back get out? Oh, my work was crazy and this and this and this. Blah, blah, blah. But I can still drive. So your back is out, but you can still drive. But you don't know why we're coming to your house. Right. So I'm like, this does not make sense. She's like, well, I don't know. Maybe your husband just doesn't make any sense right now. I'm like, well, we're supposed to be coming to your house. She's like, well, I can pick you up because I can drive. Aren't you supposed to be laying in your bed? Well, I just came out of the shower. You can take a shower too. Okay. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Then I said to him, well, she doesn't know why you're coming to our house because she said she has a back up. And he's like, oh, well, maybe we were going to surprise her. Maybe you ruined the surprise. So now I'm like, well, that can't be possible because if you were supposed to surprise her, you would not let me pick up the phone and call her. Call people. How am I supposed to say, don't call your mom? Like, that, that, really, really. We're going to see what happens. And so real quickly, I was going to show you my nails as I was saying before that I was going to polish them, but I didn't because I asked him if I'd have enough time to polish them later today, wherever we go, and he said yes. Uh, but this is what it looks like it's like a it's called plumberry and it has gold glitter in it however it looks closer to a very dark brown in person so i don't know i was going to cut my nails and make them all even but i decided i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna leave them all looking all long and on one end and shorter on the other end and they grow that same way on both size in my hand so we're at smash burger getting some lunch um my mom and babe have had food here i've never had any of their burgers but i've heard that they're supposed to be wonderful so i'm attempting to order something i do like the fact that they have shakes though that's gonna be good I got a so the babe got classic american cheese smash sauce ketchup lettuce tomatoes pickles onions on an egg bun and I got the New Yorker, New York cheddar, garlic, grilled onion, spinach, tomato, and peppercorn, garlic, aioli on a brioche bun. Which would be good. Oh, and I also got an Oreo shake, which is going to be wonderful with some fries. It's so cool. You can actually see the bun. Oh, yeah. Cool. He's got the bags. And I've got the shake. Yummy. <laughs> Looks good. Spinach, cheese, tomatoes. And a garlic aioli sauce. I'm the smallest french fries I've ever had. Like these are super, super, super thin. A smash burger was good. And so we're getting ready to leave to go where, I don't know. Supposedly we're going to drive and look at fall leaves on the tree and potentially go to the movie theater. But we're gonna see air muffy thing along with other stuff. But yeah, so we're supposed to be driving to see the full trees and the thing about this is that i was telling Stephen before that the fall foliage cruises would be cool it's just like a day cruise but it takes you to upstate new york and it shows you like the different change in leaves and stuff like that 
So supposedly we're driving. Right, okay. Like it has really it's it's really something here. I'd have to come back more often. I mean it is kind of far from where I live obviously, but definitely have to come back more often. They have chilies and IHOP and somebody's crab shack and Tony Romas and the movie theaters and the bowling alley and TGI Fridays, like everything is here. I haven't had Auntie Annie's in a while. Oh, oh, pretzel factory. I'm sitting here like, oh yeah, this is Auntie Annie's. No. It's, <laughs> it's, um, it's all inspired by us. Inspired by us. Yeah. So I'm going to see the Martian because there was only one seat left because it's one of the reserved seats theaters. Um, but my mom was looking for some candy at this Candyland place. Um, but as I was saying, I think that they're stalling. I think that they are going through something else and it may be later and then we just randomly ended up at the movie theaters. So I'm very interested in finding out what really and truly is happening. But we're going to see Sicaro. So it's Sicaro, S-I-C-A-R-I-O. Excuse me, I don't know why everything needs to be blonde. We have things to do. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to get off of there. Hi everybody, goodbye. She has to go. Until my next clip, thank you very much. Her feet were blind. <laughs> <laughs> Heading into Barnes and Nobles. So the movie was quite interesting. C Cicero or Sicaro apparently means hitman, and so it was a hitman movie. Um, but we're going to Barnes and Noble because my favorite author of all time, John Grisham, always comes out with a new book around my birthday, and I got a coupon in my email. So we're going to go get me that book, which is exciting. Look, John Grisham, Rogue Lawyer, and it sounds pretty good. Meet the Honorable Sebastian Rudd, attorney at law. His phone number is unlisted. He carries a gun. His office is a bulletproof van. His van is driven by his bodyguard, who is, his, who is also his paralegal and only friend. He takes a case as no other lawyer will touch. And if you get into trouble, you definitely want the rogue lawyer in your corner. I love John Grisham. But now I'm in the $2 spot to see if I find anything good. There's actually two bins. Three bins of $2 spot stuff. Which is cool, but I won't be doing that because I, mm -mm, I do not like heights at all. And it is very, very, very high. And it's a lot of kids, too. They're fearless. We're finally pushing. After about 45 minutes, not an hour. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. This red velvet one looks really good though. Mm. It looks black in the camera, but that's definitely good. I'm the Andre on the ball, man. Remember that I need lime, that's <laughs> They've got meatloaf, potatoes, corn. I got shrimp scampi, which looks and smells divine. Mm. Salmon, yeah, salmon looks like chicken. Salmon, potatoes, shrimp scampi. Jambalaya pasta. They made that nice and dusty. She is being perked for babe. And we brought our cheesecake home. So my mom got carrot cake cheesecake. A little bit of whipped cream. And I am gonna 
up getting the what is this red velvet cheesecake and it looks so oh my goodness i had such a good time you guys such a good time and i'm very tired like very tired but i'm gonna watch one of my favorite shows the lock up <laughs> which is like a jail show on msnbc this follows the i guess lives of people in jail it's, it's quite interesting one of the things that i like to kind of binge watch on saturday and sunday evenings because they play it on the marathon oh but that cheesecake factory food was glorious it was the bomb.com <laughs> and so i'm so happy that we actually were able to go there because Maybe about a month ago, I was saying to my husband, oh, I wish I was able to go to Cheesecake Factory because we don't live near a Cheesecake Factory. And the last time I went to a Cheesecake Factory was several years ago when I lived in Georgia. And so when they said, oh, we're going to go to dinner, I walk into the mall and it was a Cheesecake Factory. My whole face said, okay, yeah. A funny thing is that you'll see in the previous vlog that I came across the fact that they were building a Cheesecake Factory close to our house now. So... That was wonderful. But I'm happy. I was sad that my movie wasn't available because I really wanted to see The Martian. But I still got several days until my birthday. And so tomorrow we're supposed to go out and do something fun too. And I can't wait to see what happens with that. Oh, I have to show you what I ended up getting from um, the clearance bin at Barnes & Noble. Real so I got my book, which is awesome. And then in the clearance bin, I ended up getting this one, which is super cute. And it's called Mouse's First Valentine. And of course, you know it's a children's book. And I thought it was so super cute. A really nice board book. And I love the story in it. So, that's what I ended up getting from the clearance bin. I am very happy with this. Because it says Sebastian Rudd is not your typical street lawyer. And the funny thing is that the very first book that I ever read by John Grisham several years ago was Street Lawyer. And it was awesome having a like legal thriller kind of books if you're into legal thrillers and things like that then you should definitely check them out and i would definitely suggest the first book that i ever read by him that got me kind of hooked and it was called street Lawyer. i'm going to be going to spend my time down here watching lock up until i go to sleep and we will see what tomorrow holds all right ladies